What's up, folks? Today, I'm going to be talking to you about ca cat catchy ca uh, cat cash cache cat cash record. I'm going to be talking to you about cash record. Let's get into it. So the first most obvious question after how the heck do you pronounce that word is what is cash record? Well, in the redneck tech vocabulary, it's defined as a time machine for your camera. Usually when using a regular record mode, your camera doesn't actually write video to the card until you press record. Once you press record, the camera starts writing that video to the card until you press record again, and it stops writing that video to the card, and that's your clip. Now, under most circumstances, that's really the best and easiest way to shoot. It's also the most straightforward. However, cash record gives you a little bit more flexibility for use in really specific scenarios. What are some of those scenarios, you might ask? Well, it's really useful when you want to record something that you don't exactly know when it will happen. Uh, a prime example of this is filming fishing. When filming fishing, you want to get the hook set, but you never know when exactly that's going to come. Obviously, you could just sit there with your camera on record, hoping and waiting for that moment, but you may record for 5, 10, 15, or 20 minutes before that moment actually presents itself. And then all you're doing is running through cards and memory space and giving yourself giant clips that you have to look for in post-production, which is a pain all around. Cash Record solves that problem by letting you only press record and save that moment when it happens. How does it do that? Essentially, the camera is constantly writing video to the card when you're in cash record mode, and it doesn't actually save that video on the card until you press record. Once you press record, what it does is it saves a predetermined amount of time before you hit record, and then continues to save and write to the card until you press record again. So let's say that I had a cash record setting to five seconds and something happened, I pressed record. Everything that happened in the five seconds before I hit record is gonna get saved to the card and then it's gonna continue recording and writing to the card until I press record again, just like a regular video mode. I don't exactly know all of the cameras that have cache record, but if this sounds like something that's gonna be useful to you and your workflow and style of shooting, just make sure that you look for that as you're looking for cameras. Obviously, with all things we talk about, the settings and where the settings are are gonna change from camera to camera and even from mode to mode, but let me give you an example of kind of the different settings you have to work with on the FX6, and it'll at least give you an idea of some of the settings that you may have to work with on another camera. So if I go into the menu on my FX6, you'll see I scroll down to project and I've got picture cache record. So I press that and if I wanna turn it on, I change that setting to on and then cache size is essentially the setting where you're picking how many seconds before you press record is the camera gonna save to the card. The max in this specific shooting format, which is 4K 23.97, is 31 seconds. Now, I can also choose 20 seconds, 10 seconds, or five seconds. I found that 20 seconds for me and most of the things that I'm doing is plenty and maybe even a little bit too much, but I like to have a little bit of extra. Obviously, if you're worried about card space or you don't really need all of that extra time, you can choose a shorter setting. Let me show you how that setting might change if you were in a slow and quick or slow motion recording mode. So I'm gonna change the camera to slow and quick. I'm gonna go into the menu and you can see now if I go to max, the cache record time changes to three seconds. It's the same in long, medium, and short. Basically the camera's saying in slow and quick motion at 120 frames a second, you're only getting 
three seconds before you press record. Now, a note here in slow and quick motion, you always have to talk about whether it's three seconds of real time or three seconds of video. Uh, in this specific instance on this camera, that three seconds is talking about three seconds of real time recording prior to hitting that record button. All right, so all of this might be a little confusing, uh, especially if you haven't seen it in practice. So what we're gonna do is take this camera, put it on a tripod in front of that camera, and give you a real-time demonstration of exactly how all this works. All right, camera reception. The first thing I want you to notice is how at the top of the display, it doesn't say standby, it says cache. And that's how you know you're in cache. Now, what I'm gonna do is Clay, my lovely assistant, is going to press record when I give him the finger guns, which he does not know when I'm gonna do it. This is real world. This is real world experimentation, folks. All right. All right, Clay, press record. And I'm gonna sit here and do whatever I want. And Clay decides that's all he wants. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what the final clip looks like. And that's how you know you're in cash. Now, what I'm gonna do is Clay, my lovely assistant, is going to press record when I give him the finger guns, which he does not know when I'm gonna do it. This is real world. This is real world experimentation, folks. All right. All right. Clay, press record. And I'm gonna sit here and do whatever I want. and Clay decides that's all he wants. All right, as you can see, cache record isn't as complicated as it may seem at first. When you're using cache record, it might take a little bit of mental reconfiguring to transition from regular recording to pressing the record button uh, on an action. It really comes super easily, and once you get used to it, it's very easy to switch back and forth between regular recording and cache recording when the moment presents itself. Speaking of switching back and forth, I personally like to set my cache record to a customizable hot button on the FX6. I have it set to number eight on the handle, and that's because I usually don't want cache record on all the time. I wanna just use it in the instance where it will be useful to me. So if we're doing something where I think cache record will be useful, I press that eight, it turns it on, and then once I'm happy with what I got, I turn it off and go back into regular recording mode. In this line of work, specifically filming hunting and outdoors content, you always wanna capture some of those special in the moment things that you really can't predict. And the only way to do that without burning through a ton of card space is with cash record. And for that reason, we won't buy a camera that doesn't have it. Of course, it may not be something that works for your workflow, but we love it. It's very useful for us. And if it sounds like it's something cool that you'd want, make sure you look for it in the next camera you buy. Anyways, check out more videos on the channel if you want to. We've also got an Instagram, Redneck Tech Podcast, that you can uh, go follow along with what we're doing day to day there. And I don't know, stay classy, San Diego. Peace.